in response to a letter from the for, uh, in response to the letter from a family of Mr. Hedges requesting clemency and in consideration of the historical relationship and close ties between the United Arab Emirates and the United Kingdom, His Highness has decided to include Mr. Matthew Hedges among the 785 prisoners released. Mr. Hedges will be permitted to leave the country once all the formalities are complete. Thank you very much. On the morning of the 21st of November, the Abu Dhabi Federal Court of Appeals sentenced Mr. Hedges to life imprisonment. It was for the crime of espionage against the United Arab Emirates on behalf of a foreign agency. During the investigation, Mr. Hedges confessed he was acting as an agent for a foreign intelligence service. He confirmed that he collected sensitive and classified information about the UAE. The evidence, both documentary and electronic, are irrefutable. Mr. Hedges described his objectives as the following. A, to gather classified information on the UAE military capabilities, including weaponry and procurement decisions. B, to gather sensitive economic data on the country key firms and key industries, along with the strategic planning information. C, to gather sensitive information on key government figures, including members of the UAE ruling families and their networks. And finally, to gather classified information on the UAE military and political role in Yemen. During the investigation, it emerged that Mr. Hedges has been using two different identities to gather information from his targets. In one, he was Matthew Hedges, the PhD researcher. In another one, he was Matthew Hedges, the businessman. He was part-time PhD researcher, part-time businessman, but he was 100% a full-time secret service operative. Mr. Hedges has been found guilty of espionage. He sought out sensitive information he knew had access to it. He was here to steal the UAE sensitive national security secrets for his paymaster.